Hey what's going on guys, in this video we are going to see how to store multiple string values in an array using C programming. I have searched so many videos on that but I couldn't find anything in YouTube. Like these kind of things are very hard. I tried to figure it out, my, out by myself and finally found a solution for this one. Here what we are going to do is we are going to get 5 names from the user and we are going to print, print the same names back. Okay, it's also going to print out the space also. It's it can store the space also. So in order to do this one, we are going to use a 2D array. Now let's go ahead and see how to do that. So two dimensional array, we are going to store it in character. Character and let's call this one name. And uh, here for, for the first one, we are going to say 100. We are going to like declare 100 as storage because it can be like we can input 100 names. It's okay. And also I'm going to introduce another array that's going to be stored 30. And the next thing is we are going to introduce an integer type of variable. Here we are going to put i and n, two integer type of variable declared. And the next thing is we are going to ask the, uh, we are going to create a prompt to ask the name from the user. Or oh, first we have to ask the limit for the user. For example, uh, based on the limit, if the user want to type seven name, it's going to set the limit to 7. If the user wants to type 5 names, it's going to set the limit to 5. So based on the user input, it's going to decide the limit. So in order to do that, we are going to create a prompt here. So printf statement. In order to get the prompt, we create printf statement. And in this printf statement, I'm going to put backslash and enter the limit. Enter the limit okay and based on based on the user's input it's going to decide how many names he can store and print it out back and then to get the names like to get the input of the number we are going to create a scanf statement and for this one since that that's an integer we put a percentage d and don't forget if it's a variable we have to always put an ampersand in front and then n this is where we are going to store this one and the next thing is we are going to based on the input we are going to create a for loop for loop is going to run as many as the time the user input. For example, if the user put five, it's going to run five times. So that's why we create a for loop. In this one, we set i is equal to zero and i is less than n. i is less than n and i plus plus. i plus plus. And the next thing is we are going to create a scanf statement to get the input from the user, the name input from the user. So scanf and uh, here's the technique this is the great technique you will rarely find this kind of technique in youtube or any other places so here what you have to do is you have to put a percentage and then this square bracket and in the square bracket you have to put the power sign and after that you put backslash n for the new line and close the square bracket this is the this is the great technique now after that you have to store the name. So in order to store the name, we put ampersand sign name. And then uh, since we are storing this in an, in an array, we put square bracket i. And then after that, semicolon. And we are going to run the for loop again to get the input from the user for, for a, because we have to get the input of name five times. So here we put for loop. In the for loop, we set i is equal to zero. And then after that, we put i is less than n, same as the previous one, less than n, and then i plus plus. And finally, we cre create the printf st statement to print the names back. Okay, printf statement. And in this one, we got we put backslash n, and since that's a string type of variable, like percentage s for the string, right? So we put percentage s here, and then ampersand name. Ampersand, ampersand name and uh, this would be in a array and that's it now this should this one should work let's go ahead and run this one okay here it's asking to enter the limit for example i am entering three so i had to put three names Thiliban, and i put my last name nagarasa and then let's say spider-man or oh, just spider so here it's printing it back and also you remember like you can also 
store something with a space so let's run this one again and type a name with a store a space so let's put four and here i put tilibanagrasa tilibanagrasa and also deadpool and then spider-man spider-man and then uh, i had to render another name because i put four let's put something yes okay now it's it's printing out with the space that's how we do that i hope this helps thanks for watching and if you are trying to access these codes it's in my blogger i put the link of my blogger in the description so you can go ahead and try this and also if you are trying to learn c or c plus plus programming there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too and don't forget to subscribe see you next time